First of all, what is chemistry? Yes, young man right here. Mixing chemicals, did you say? That's exactly what it is. Mixing things together to see what will happen. So, we're going to mix things together to see what happens. But first of all, we must know math. All right? One plus one equals two. Wait, I think you misunderstood me. I meant one plus one. One plus one equals two. You're sure? Yeah. Right, I, it's not that I don't think you're right. You are intelligent, you're well educated, you dress nicely. And what we're going to do is test that theory. In science, we always have to test our theory. So, I have a tube. In science, tubes are good. This tube has numbers. Numbers are always good. I have a one, a two, a three. I always forget that one. Four. Five. Now, right here, I have one cup of marbles. All right? Now, marbles, scientists say, are a solid. A solid is something that if you hit it with a hammer, with a hard enough hammer, it will break. So what is a solid? It's something you can break. Excellent. All right. Now, I'm going to pour this in just to see how high it comes. Oh, my gosh. What a coincidence. It comes to the number one. All right. Now, if I add one more cup of the same amount of marbles, it should equal what? Two. You are really fixated on that, aren't you? Yeah. All right, now, again, a, this is a solid. What is a solid? A solid is something you can break. All right, I'll add number two. But of course, you will find your surprise. You're right. That plus one equals two when you have two solids together. Good. Now, what if I added a solid to a liquid? Now, for example, here I have water. Just mixed with food coloring. Here. And oh, now, sweet. can you break? Water? No. no! So it's not a solid. A solid, you can break it. This is what scientists call a liquid. And a good scientist will say, a liquid food. And that is always how they'll say it. So what does a liquid do? It Oh, but you've got to do the hand. If you really want to be a good scientist, you get to MIT, they always do the hand motion. So what does a liquid do? It Good, all right. So, I pour in one. Now where's the So here I have one cup of liquid. Now I'm going to add one cup of solid. This is salt. Salt is a solid. You hit these little pieces of salt with a hammer, they will break. Now I have one cup. I add one cup, which should equal what? So I add one cup of solid to the liquid. We should have two. We had one plus one. You say it's two. And of course, you'll find absolutely no. Wait, we have here's one. Here is two. Here is just over one and a half. Now, I have a question. Why? Young lady right here. She said if it had to go to two, it would have to be two solids. Now that's an interesting thing. We're going to look at that. That's a very good thought. What do you think? Yes, young man, with your hand up, looking at me. That something's wrong? Well, that's interesting. You know, the fact is, it looks like it's wrong, but it's not. What it is, it has to do with the smallest piece of something. One more idea, yes. Oh, you're so close. It's not evaporation when it goes into the air. What you're looking for is the word dissolve. And you're I right. Now, you know, this has to do with the size of the smallest piece of something. The smallest piece of something. Well, you tell me, what's the smallest piece of this set up here? Yes, what do you see? Anything smaller than the salt? Yes. Anything smaller than a piece of the liquid? Yes. Small blood blue. Small, you know, the fact is, the smallest part, piece of something is a molecule. And a molecule is the smallest piece of something that is still that thing. For example, the smallest piece of this 
plastic is a plastic molecule. The smallest piece of this wood is a wood molecule. What is your name? Dylan? The smallest piece of Dylan is a Dylan molecule. After we put these molecules together, they get big enough to be able to see. Now, that is, some molecules are bigger and some are smaller. So, here I have my solids. I'm going to add another solid, but this time the solid's going to be smaller. So if I add one plus one, it's two of the same size. I add one more smaller. We think it might be three. You tell me what happens to these little bitty pieces of solid. Uh, what do you call it? You call it a... Yeah. 